I'm trying to work. <laughs> people? Yeah, people just running away. Should we go catch them? Yeah. Do you hear them? <gasps> Look, a bunny. Do you see the bunny? Hi, bunny. Time out. Kendra posted a video over on her mom's channel, Mom Stuff. Hi. It is so Hi, cute. Mommy. I'm going to put it in the eye card. What's your mommy's tummy? A baby. Is it a boy baby or a girl baby? Girl baby. Oh, do you think it's a girl baby? Alright, give us some blue. So we're using pretzels as our paint brushes, and the kids are going to start with making what color, Elise? Orange. Is that good enough with yellow? You might need a little bit more. Look what Isaac's ah. doing, he's playing red. Why is he mixing the yellow and the red? Mm. What does yellow and red make? Orange. Yeah, so you are got to do that too, so get, get lots of yellow, buddy. Actually making orange. I wasn't expecting it to make this much of orange. What color are you trying to make, Caleb? Um, green. Green. You're right. You're needing some more yellow, huh? Wow, that is quite the purple. I'm gonna eat mine now. Oh, are you excited about that? I'm trying to eat orange. <laughs> Miss Laura, did you decide to mix yours up too? Yeah. What color is this that you made? Green. You did, you made green, good job. Whoa, let's wash those hands. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's turn the water down so we don't waste some water. Let's scrub it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay, okay. should we rinse them off? Yeah. Okay. Good hands, yeah, they're clean now. Do you want to go um, color with the kids? Sure. Okay. All right, let's dry off those hands. Alright, go color. Caleb, you are getting there. You're almost done. So we had fun plans to go to a science museum with the kids this morning and unfortunately, our family was just grumpy this morning and there was like lots of whining and complaining and name calling. Like the kids were being unkind to each other and I just said no. Like we can't go and do somewhere fun if we're going to treat each other this way in our home. So instead, the kids are all working together to fold a load of laundry, and I'm getting an activity together to try to really focus on the importance of being kind in our home. Like the rule in our family is if you can't be kind in our home, then we can't go other places. We can't go to a birthday party. We can't go play with our friends if we can't be kind to the people that are most important in our lives, which is the people right here in our home. And so they're little, they're learning. I totally get that that's normal, but I also, want to draw lines like you can't call each other names here like you guys are precious children of God and we don't treat each other that way like God sent us here to be this family and he sent you guys to be best friends with each other and so we have to learn to get along and it's hard sometimes it's really hard I mean we have a lot of little kids they're close in age and it's hard for them to get along some days but I'm really hoping that they can learn to and that Jeremy and I can somehow parent appropriately Parenting's not super easy. All right, does everybody have a bowl? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, is it empty? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Caleb, mm -hmm. I love you so much. You are such a wonderful helper. I've really noticed how hard you're working on your chores, and I really love how well you're doing during quiet time. And it's just a joy to be with you when we're working on projects together. I love seeing your enthusiasm for life. <laughs> oh, I'm just right. How did you feel when I was telling you those things? Good. I am so grateful for what a fun big brother you are. You are so good at playing with your siblings. I love listening to you play the piano. When I hear you playing in the morning, it just makes my heart happy. 
I love how hard you work on your chores and your schoolwork. I love what a good friend you are, and oh my goodness, you know so much about sports. And me. How do you feel when I say those things? Good. Good? Is it Laura's turn? Yeah. I love your beautiful smile. And I love how kind you are to your brothers and sisters. And you help them with things. And you always like to help with chores. How do you feel? Great. Great? Uh-oh. I find such joy in watching you cook. You are an amazing chef. And the things you come up with your art are just phenomenal. And do you realize how hard you've been working at the piano? You're getting better and better and better at it. And you're such a peacemaker in our home. Thank you so much. <laughs> How do you feel? Happy. All right, now guys, my bucket right now is empty. <gasps> I don't want to do it. Mama, I love you. And an amazing mom. You're an amazing mom. And I love you so much. And I love your activities that oh. you do with us. And I love and your science so nice. experiments and stuff that you let us go to, like the yogurt shop. Fun. And I love that you're like so fun at doing art stuff. Oh, yeah. thank you. And I love your experiments and stuff that we do for school. Whoa, guys, thank you. Okay, guys, this is just pretend. Ready? Okay. Caleb, I'm sick and tired of how mean you're being. No. Mm. How do you feel? Sad. What did I do to your bucket? It's empty. Yeah. Hey, don't you be a lazy slob and... I just don't even like how you comb your hair. It's so bad. And you, you with, with your tongue. It's always in your mouth and it drives me crazy. Then stick your tongue out. And you, you. What in the world can I possibly say to me about you? You. <laughs> Okay, now what do you guys what do you guys say to me? Mom, you're the worst mom in the world. We hate your experiments. We hate everything you do for us. Okay, now everybody show me your bowls. How do we feel right now? Sad. Not, not good. Not like how we used to. Yeah. Laura, you dump yours out? In the first round, I was a bucket filler. I filled other people's buckets with love and happiness with the words that I chose to say. In the second round, I was a bucket dumper. And I came around and I dumped out your buckets with my mean words. Which ones do you think we should try to be in our family? Happy, happy, this one. A bucket filler. A bucket filler. Okay, let's go sit down. We're gonna read a book. Now we're gonna read this book. I love it. I very recommend it. You remember this one? Yeah. I okay. want to read it for my scripture study. And I got it for your field trip. Oh, you got a bucket for my field trip? Yeah. We're going to go. Field trip. Yeah, we're going to go on a bucket filling field trip. Oh, could a minute? Yeah, let's go. Let's get your shoes on. Okay. But we don't actually need a bucket. Who are the balloons for? Um, Michael and Aunt Ashley. Yeah, do you think they'll like them? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm scared to let go. All right, well, I brought the kids to the grocery store, and the challenge is to see how many buckets we can fill while we're here. So the kids are smiling at everybody and saying hello. And anyway, we also got some little goodies to run to some friends. We're taking some balloons to one of my nephews, a cupcake to one of my good friends, some flowers to another friend. You know, and oh, we bought stuff to make Jeremy's favorite dinner tonight. So we're just talking about filling people's buckets and different ways we can do that. And I'd be lying if I'd say it was going smoothly. It's a little bit challenging. Like, it's one of those times where I'm like, no good deed goes unpunished. Like here we're trying to think about others and trying to teach that. And I feel like I'm kind of losing my mind. So we're gonna cut this short and go home and be done. All right, well, I couldn't vlog more in the store because it was completely chaotic. 
went to try to deliver everything and nobody was home. So we all came home a little deflated from that, but we ate lunch and now we're diving into our schoolwork this afternoon and just, you know, trying to roll with it. Sometimes as a mom, I'm like, oh, what's the point? Like, I feel like I'm like trying and trying to like teach the kids kindness and love and respect and good behavior and sometimes it feels like you try and try and get nowhere that's kind of how today feels but I'm hoping that like all of this is like little tiny drops in their buckets and okay buckets is probably bad to use as the same analogy again but like little drops into their minds that someday like the cumulative effect of all this parenting will somehow work out What's this? Shh, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Surprise! What is it? A baby. Do you have a baby? This. My baby in my crib. Oh, you put what? the baby in a crib? Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. What's your baby's name? Baby Elizabeth. Oh, Baby Elizabeth, that's a great name. And I'm Ashley. Oh, you're Ashley. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Hi. You're a great mom. So today for history, we are reading about one of our ancestors, which is Daniel Boone. Okay, what'd you learn about him, Cubby? Um, that he's a hunter. He got caught by the Shawnee tribe three times, and he got away each time and yeah. warned his people. And I thought it was interesting that he was really curious, and that's like just the same with Caleb. Oh. <laughs> and I never knew that he was one of our ancestors. Yeah, he is. He's one of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. He's my eighth great uncle. He has a little brother named George that I'm related to. So he is one of the explorers that helped pave the way for Americans to move westward into Kentucky. But then after he was in Kentucky for a while, he moved further west and into Missouri. And so we actually hope this next week to go visit the Daniel Boone home in the Missouri area. All right, for dinner tonight, I tried to make one of Jeremy's favorites, which is called Frito Pie. I didn't make it just the way his mom did, so I'll have to keep working on it, but it's like a beans and corn and hamburger on top of Fritos. These are the secret one. Yeah. You guys ready? So we're trying to deliver our goodies again, and this time I was smart and texted my friends beforehand, so they should be home. How did it go this evening with dropping stuff off? Good. I Michael was like running up and he was like hugging me and then I gave him the balloons and he was so happy. Doesn't it feel good? Yeah. It does feel very good. And we're filling their buckets but we're filling ours too because we're feeling happy too. It's amazing. Yeah. Good night, Jay House. I let Jay Shout out. Is this a hat? Alright, here's our parfaits. 